there Pussycat, Janet Beckers here with your Cool Cats video tip of the week. Today it's a big mistake that people make that actually can end up damaging the trust that people have got with you when you've been creating videos and it doesn't matter if you've done everything else right. So let's have a look at what that is and what you can do to prevent it. Let's think about this. You've created a video and it could be one of your regular videos that you're sending out every week to really connect with your ideal client. You've given great content. You've given them a call to action where you've said, hey, come down, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you're thinking. What are your thoughts? Answer this question. What you've done is you've asked them to interact with you in that video. Now for them to leave a comment down below on in below where your video is, whether that's on YouTube, whether it's on your blog, whether it's on Facebook or Twitter, wherever it is, you've asked people to interact and leave a comment. That's huge for them to do. Think about the big effort, they've got to type. <laughs> so for them to have done that, they are interacting with you, they're showing that they trust and that they want a relationship. How rude if you don't come back and take part in the conversation. It's like you've asked them to do something and to start a conversation and then you've walked out. So many people don't do this and I'll tell you what, it does not take long at all. When you've seen comments, just cut, you don't have to go and comment on every single comment if you're getting a lot, but you need to come back and start commenting and, and acknowledging that people have interacted with you and continue the conversation. Really, really important because this then continues to build up that trust and it makes people know that you value them. So my call to action to you is, hey, leave a comment down below and I tell you, I'll come back. I will come back and join the conversation. So the thing that really helps when you are asking people to leave a comment is give them something specific. So the thing that I would like to ask you to share down below is what kind of things do you like people to ask you to comment on? You know, do you respond to them saying, ask a question? Or do you respond to them saying, tell me specifically the one thing that works well for you? Or asking them to give a tip, whatever it is that you're going to be doing. So um, I'd love you to share that down below. What kind of thing makes you want to leave a comment? Um, the other thing to acknowledge is if people share, if they share your video, they deserve a, a big thank you. So just go and acknowledge and say, hey, thanks for sharing. It means a lot and they'll share more in the future. So it's a really little tiny thing, but it makes a huge difference to trust and it makes your videos become more viral because people see that this is the place where people are hanging out and talking. Okay, so I'd love to hear your comments down below and I will, I will come and join the conversation. Bye.